Oh hey you, what up? Welcome to my channel. Welcome back, I'm Mariam. Today, I am going to be testing out new makeup from the drugstore, also some luxury makeup. There's a lot of it piled here in front of me, so I'm going to be slapping everything onto my face. As always with these videos, I don't really know where this makeup will take me. I don't know if it's good or bad, but the whole point is to try it and to try it together. Remember to subscribe, hit that notification bell, so that you can watch all of my Wednesdays and Sundays videos. And now let's get into this video, testing your makeup. One, two, three, here we come. Okay, so we've got a new primer from Kevin Aquan, Sensual Skin Primer. It's supposed to be a lightweight, hydrating primer with antioxidants and hyaluronic acid. Plumps, protects, and primes the skin. I do love me some hyaluronic acid. I'm a bit of a weirdo. I don't like to apply primer with my hands. I just always think it feels funny on my hands. So instead, I like to go in with a brush. This one is scented, has a mild, fragrant scent. All right, off the bat, I'm noticing that this primer is mattifying my skin, actually. It's not really doing much for the pores, but it is doing something for the oils, and that something is some that I like. Moving on to some concealers that I got in the mail from Maybelline. These are called the Superstay Active Wear Concealers, up to 30 hours of wear, what? Personally, I think 30 hours is a bit too long to be wearing makeup, but if you're in a profession where you actually work for 30 hours straight, that does happen, then this is probably for you. But let's test it out first. So I have a million shades here. This is how many I have, from the lightest to the deepest. And of course, I'm not really sure what shade I am, but I'm gonna grab somewhere from the center of the spectrum, not the lightest, not the deepest, obviously, but somewhere in the center, I am guessing maybe shade 20. Ooh, very interesting, tiny, super tiny applicator. I'm gonna have to show you a close-up because I've never seen an applicator like this for concealer. It is really, really, really small. So I'm not sure if this is my shade. Looks kind of yellowy, maybe good for the under eye. Perhaps I need to grab, let's see, a shade 27. Let's see what a shade 27 does for me. Okay, this is a little orange. How about shade 25? Ooh, weird too. All right, I'm gonna go for shade 22. That's the last one that I have remaining between the 25 and the 20. 22, seems all right. Kind of yellowy, but not a problem. Very interesting applicator though, very interesting and precise. Also, this smells like paint. I like the smell of paint personally, but I know not everyone does. Now I'm gonna blend it out to see what happens. Oh, it ain't going nowhere. I'm gonna need to use that lighter shade 22 to conceal some of these spots, the ones that were too dark. Wondering what a shade 30 looks like. I'm wondering if this could be used as a foundation. But it looks like the shades are very, very saturated. Like, holy crap, this is drying fast and it is drying really matte. But looks like I am able to buff it out, no problem. Okay, not a super intuitive formula. And I don't know if this is going to cake up on me throughout the day, but let's just see where it takes us. Oh, I don't know. The finish on this is almost too matte. Like, I don't know what foundation is this matte for it to go well with. I got an idea. I don't know if this is a great idea, but I'm gonna go with it. I think I'm gonna try to use this as an all over foundation. I'm just super curious about this unique formula. I'm just gonna, oh, you know, <laughs> apply that there and then work quickly and buff that out or just stipple that into the skin. You know what? You know what? It was actually kind of satisfying. Very, very, very matte finish, but not terrible. Although I am seeing that it's emphasizing all of this peeling skin that I have here from my old acne breakouts. That's not super amazing, but it is what it is. All right, let's go quickly here. Again, shade 22. Weird applicator, what the heck? Buff that into the skin. Coverage is pretty good. What do you think? How does it even look on camera? I, I don't know if I can tell whether I like it or not. Okay, so I'm figuring this out. I think I am formulating an opinion. I kinda appreciate what this product is doing. I appreciate how matte it is. And it is forgiving on most of my skin with the exception of a few dry patches that I have here, here, 
here and here from my old acne scars where the skin is peeling where it's like flaking a little bit it is emphasizing that just a bit similarly this concealer is also emphasizing my under eye and to me my under eye is on the flatter side i don't really suffer from heavy baggage under the eyes or any sort of puffiness but it's making my under eye look a little bit more crinkly than it is so i guess Maybe this formula isn't ideal for me. Well, we tried it. I'm gonna grab a deeper shade, shade 45. Let's see if I can add a little bit of dimension like that. Do you see how it's just like emphasizing some of my problem areas here? Hmm. Oh yeah. I think I was overly ambitious, but I tried it. I am going to grab a much lighter shade, shade 15. This one is slightly pinky, slightly peachy. Let's see if I can perhaps brighten this under eye a little bit. Also the inner corner. Oh girl, I don't know. I don't know. This texture is just tragique. So now I'm beside myself. The concealer wasn't ideal, but I have so many other products that I want to test out on top of the concealer. Namely, I've got this new Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer Blush. Also a bunch of shades that were sent to me in PR. I'm really curious to know what a tinted moisturizer blush is. It's basically what it looks like. It's a tube. I'm grabbing the shade Provence. It's just like a really pale peachy shade. I'm gonna blend it out with my Rare Beauty blush brush. Oh my God, this is stunning. Excuse me? This is what I needed in my life. Very nice, very easy to apply. Packed with color, even though it's such a light color, which is unusual because usually light colors don't even show up. But this is light enough, but pigmented enough to show up and be so pretty. And it kind of fixed all the dry patches that I had here. Wait a minute. Do I like this blush? Kind of want to try out another shade. So we've got another shade called Soleil. And from the looks of it, it is something golden. Ooh, so maybe I can use that as a highlighter. Let's see. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Why is this so pretty? Oh, hell yeah. Oh, I needed that in my life. I am taking these two blushes and I am packing them into my makeup bag. This video is being pre-filmed for my vacay. And I am throwing these in my vacay makeup bag. Uh-oh, these were stunning. But never mind the rest of the face, don't judge. These two blushes though, kind of a hit for me and we have so many more shades to try out. This is very exciting. Sad I can't say the same thing for these Maybelline Super Stay, whatever the f they were. Also, I have this new truffle blush from Dose of Colors. This one is very dainty as well. Kind of looks like the color of the first shade that I tried, Provence from Laura Mercier. So I'm gonna add a little bit on top with a Dose of Colors brush, of course, and see if maybe I could amp that up. What am I doing? Why am I just ruining my perfectly good makeup today? Why? I look dirty and I look orange. This is not working, girl. All right, let's move on to brows. Another fun category. I've got a clear mascara from Physicians Formula. And I've got some Express Brow 2-in-1 Pencil and Powder from Maybelline. And I've got the CoverGirl Easy Breezy Brow 24-Hour Brow Ink Pen. And I've even got Too Faced Brow Wig Brush on Hair Fluffy Brow Gel. I'm gonna test this out. Physicians Formula Clear Mascara is gonna have to stay clear of my brows. So let me go ahead and test out this Easy Breezy Brow. Looks like it's a marker and a spoolie on the other side. Okay, let's go for it. <laughs> Ooh, okay, it's not bad. The marker isn't super precise, which is kind of nice because you can quickly use it to define the shape and to fill it in. Generally, I like these. Unfortunately, they get contaminated too quickly and they dry out, so they're not really long lasting. Ooh, the spoolie on this is trash basura. It is bad, honey. It's not doing much for brushing out anything. But the marker itself is, I guess, kind of cute. I don't understand, is it contaminated already? So strange, but it's not applying as good as I did on the other brow. Hmm, hmm. All right, flimsy spoolie time. No, kind of gimmicky. Moving on to Express Brow from Maybelline. Ooh, I'm gonna have angry brows in this video, I can tell. I don't know, for some reason this feels kind of luxy to me. We've got a powder on one side, and we've got a pencil, but a rather thick pencil on the other side. Looks like it's a 
pigmented but waxy type of pencil. These waxy types of pencils, if you have really fine brows, sometimes they can serve as also your brow gel or something that holds your brows in place. But for me, I don't really like them because they're not strong enough to hold my brows in place. So all they do is just add bulk and heavy product. So I'm not a fan of this type of formulation, but you know, some people are just depending on our preferences and also depending on our individual features, you know? Kind of hard to blend out too, not gonna lie. Oh man. All right, I'm gonna test out one more brow thing and it's the Too Faced Brow Wig. <laughs> what a funny name. So this is supposed to be some brow fibers because I clearly need more brows to complete this look. So let's just go ahead and do so. Swatch model. Yo. What do you think of my brows? I like it, I like it. I mean, I like it, but if I was gonna be picky, <laughs> which I can be because I'm a swatch model. I, I, it's a little too dense, the color. Let's add more product on. <laughs> Thanks, swatch model. I mean, yeah, he's right. There's way too much product in these brows, you know? But what can I do? I guess this could potentially be a decent product if you don't have a lot of brow hairs. This could potentially serve as like a little brow wig moment, you know? But for me, clearly, this is not a necessary product. I'm gonna leave it at that. I am probably gonna give this another try, but without all the previous products that I applied, maybe on a like, bare brow. So we'll see. I feel like these brows are no longer angry. They are in the evil brow category, darling. So evil. JK, let's move on. So I'm gonna powder down this face with the Laura Mercier Giant Translucent Setting Powder. I believe this was for like their anniversary or something like that. I'm not sure if you can buy this size. This is like 49 grams or 1.7 ounces of powder. It's a lot. This will last you. But I guess I should probably set my face because I'm an oily girl. And even though my face looks pretty matte right now, I don't suppose it'll stay that way for longer than an hour. So we're gonna powder it down, baby. What makeup are you guys excited for? Is there anything in particular that stands out to you? Not from today's trial, but just in general. Do you have any products that you're eager to get your hands on? Or maybe like an influencer or a makeup artist or a celebrity coming out with a line that you're excited for? I have one, I'll share. No one asked, but I'll share anyway. I am really interested in the new makeup line from the makeup artist of Euphoria from Donnie Davey. Really excited to get my hands on that. I have a feeling that this might be something that is different, that is fresh. Given the fact that Euphoria has kind of dominated and almost dictated a lot of the makeup trends of the past couple of years, I just feel that I wanna see a makeup line from Euphoria's makeup artist. Okay, this looks just weird. This is not my skin tone. The colors are just not working. I don't know, I don't like myself in the monitor. From One Size and Patrick Star, we have these new Made for Shade Bronze and Sculpt trios. We have the Light Trio here, and we also have the Fair Trio here. Fair looks a little too light for me. I'm gonna swipe into this lightest shade here. Looks a little ochre, like a light ochre. I'm not sure if you guys can tell that I have that on. Oh yeah, a little bit, okay. Using this big fluffy brush. Not a color that I would bronze up with, but I think it's helping to even out what I got going on on my face. I'm gonna grab a bit of the darkest shade. I don't know, it's so hard to judge this one because I just already hate my face base. It's really hard to make it work at this point. So I think the smart thing for me to do would probably be to just leave my face alone at this point and just let's not add any more products. In the eye category, I have some new palettes. I think you already know. We've got the Truffle Eyeshadow Palette from Dose of Colors. This one looks so, so cute, though very wearable and perhaps not super innovative or unique. Like you've definitely seen this before, but what I like about it is that the colors aren't super warm. This is actually leaning a little bit more cool to me. There's definitely some warm shades and some neutrals, but it's not screaming bronzy, you know? It's not screaming orange crease, you know? So I like that. As opposed to like the Born This Way Sunset Strip by Too Faced palette. Actually, this one's looking a little bit more neutral too. I mean, there's some warmer shades here. There's some, there's definitely a lot of bronzy shades, but overall, 
the palette is more neutral. All right, so we're going back to neutrality. I like that. So I think I'm gonna dip around into those two just to see if there's anything I like or if anything calls out to me. I'm gonna grab a pointy brush first and dip into this shade from the Dose of Colors. First, I should probably prime my lids though. And I do actually have the Milk Hydro Grip Eye Primer. This one has been sitting in my cart over here for months. I've been meaning to test out the product, but I kept forgetting about it. Bro, you could literally just like squeeze it out. Why do I keep on sticking this wand in there? I feel like a lot of people love Milk Hydro Grip products. The face primer, the eye primer. So let's see. This feels a little sandy in my fingers, like there's particles, but okay, I guess. So now, going back to the Dose of Colors, this shade, pointy brush. Whoa. This applies like literal paint, like eyeliner on top of this primer. Did I want that? Did I need that? I don't think so, but what is actually happening today? That is the weirdest primer. I'm gonna attempt to blend this out. I mean, it is blending out, but this is so strange. This can't be good. Maybe there's something wrong with my primer since it did feel a little bit sandy. Maybe there's instructions on this. Maybe I didn't allow it to dry or to set. This one's applying a little bit better, but still it's transforming the formula of eyeshadow from powder to liquid or to mousse. It's becoming creamy, but really hard to maneuver. Very perplexing experience in this video today. I'm gonna grab this Refer 01 brush Dip into the shade. It's called Allude. Picked up a little bit. Let's see if I can somehow blend out that previous color. Oh no, girl. I just do not like this primer. It's so strange. I don't like the fact that it's changing the formula of eyeshadow. It's making it messy. It's making it difficult to work with. Absolutely not, absolutely not. I'm going to move on. I'm gonna reach into this shade here called Golden Hour. Looks like a neutral pink. Well, you know what? I think this might be acting a little bit better with the Too Faced eyeshadows because this one just applied way better than the Dose of Colors. And I think I know why. It's because Too Faced eyeshadows are generally on the drier side. They're not very pigmented. And so this primer is turning these Too Faced shadows into something a little bit more creamy, which makes them more workable. Those of colors are pretty pigmented shadows. Look at that. So I don't know if pigmented eyeshadows would work with this Milk Hydro Grip Eye Primer. It might be a bit too much. It's gonna be one of those days where I apply eyeliner all over just to save this look. I can feel it. I'm gonna dip into this black sand. I'm gonna try something different. I'm gonna try to deepen this outer corner, just like this. Maybe I could do the same thing here. I swear, I know how to do makeup, but today's trial is really making me feel like I don't know what the what I'm doing because literally nothing is going my way, with the exception of the cream blush. Cream blush is the superhero of today's video. Whoa, this is just a hot ass mess. Let's make it even messier. I'm gonna dip in two. Sun's out and add that to the lid. Oh, maybe it saved it. This is an interesting formula metallic too. Kinda sticky, kinda creamy, but not like oozing with pigment. So I'm gonna dip into another, this one. Shell yeah. All right, and this one on the other hand looks very, very dusty. It's even dusty for a metallic. There's a lot of flying particles here. We're just making it work. We're just running with it. All right, I don't know if I care for this palette. I don't know if it gave me the feels. This one, on the other hand, I am interested in trying with a different primer. I think there might be something here. I'm gonna grab a clean brush, dip into this sparkly shadow. I hesitated because I noticed that when I pressed into the shadow, it was bouncy. It had like a little cushion to it. Something that I typically don't see with metallics like this. But yeah, look how pretty. Ooh, but definitely need to give this palette another run. Let's leave the eyes alone at this point. Grabbing Maybelline Tattoo Studio Smoky Gel Pencil. Gel on one side and then a smudger on the other side. Just gonna line the outer portion and then smoke that out like that. And then I'm gonna grab this brown liner from Makeup Forever, Aqua Resist Color Ink. And here is where I'm gonna attempt to fix everything that is wrong with this eye. 
Ooh, this is an actual rather lovely product. So by fixing, you know what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna draw right over it. Swatch metal. Yo. What do you think of my look? I like the look. Really, yeah. I like the eyeshadow color, the glitter, the nude into the black liner, cat. Mm. Anything else? I like your foundation. Really? Yeah. Mm. What do you like about it? It looks like you're not wearing it. It has like a glowy, like a, almost like a filter effect. Really? Yeah. So maybe I'm just having a bad day because I don't see what he sees. I am seeing myself as a hot ass mess right now. I did kind of fix the eye a little bit. It's edgy, but basically you've seen me do this a hundred times. This is what I do whenever I don't like how my makeup is going. But I will say this liner is very, very nice. These Aqua Resist liners are really good quality. It just depends on the color, whether you will like it or not. So I've tried a couple of colors from this line so far, and so far I didn't like the gold because it wasn't gold enough. I do like the brown because it is a true brown. And it is also helping me fix this mess. All right, so let's just drag this back like this. Perhaps I need to lift this one a little bit higher just so they can match. Yes. Don't do it, Miriam. Don't do it, stop it. Put the liner down, you're good. Next, I'm gonna reach for a mascara. I do have a mascara from Physician's Formula. This one is called Diamond Mascara Mineral Wear. Cool looking packaging. Give me a second on the plastic. Got it out. I'm not gonna say it, but you know what I'm thinking. Let's see how we feel about this mascara. Well, so far, I like the very creamy formula. I like the precision of the brush. I think I could even see my lashes in the monitor, even though I have a lot of eye stuff going on. I think this is contributing to the look rather than taking away from it. I don't know, that felt pretty decent to me. I kind of like this mascara. I don't know how it wears, obviously. I don't know if it'll smudge on me. Probably will. But if you're looking for something that separates the lashes, that coats them quickly, this just did that. And that's what impressed me. So far, so good. I'm gonna leave that. Moving on to lips. I got some diamond plumpers from Physicians Formula. Similar packaging. Also, I have some NYX lingerie double XL. Got a bunch of stuff from L'Oreal over here. Some lip and cheek paradise. Some lipsticks. I think I'm gonna go for one of these shades here. Glow Paradise Peach Charm. So I'm assuming this is supposed to be a glowy type of lipstick, perhaps a balmy one. Hmm, very fragrant, but very easy and very comfortable on the lips. Kind of like a lip balm, I would say. Not bad. And the color is surprisingly fresh. Gonna go for this diamond plumper on top. Don't know if I need it, but I want it. Ooh, it smells like Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme. Is it gonna plump? I'm not sure. It actually feels somewhat cooling on the lips. Not like a spicy, tangy feeling, but I like the color. The color is... There is one more thing that I was hoping to test out in today's video and it is these Mineral Wear Diamond Metallic Multi-Chrome Shift Liquid Eyeshadows from Physicians Formula. These kind of reminded me of the Danessa Myricks Metallic Chrome Liquid Eyeshadows. So I really wanted to put these to the test. Unfortunately, I just think I have way too much going on on my eyes to even be able to judge it. So instead, I think I'm gonna swatch this on the back of my hand. It definitely is very reminiscent of the Danessa Myricks, though I'm not sure if it applies the same. Is there directions? Apply to eyelids using the applicator or fingertip. Wear alone or as a topper to amplify your eye look. Oh yeah, for sure. All right, might as well just swatch the rest of them. Here is violet red gold. I'm not sure if the camera is actually picking up all the different nuances of these colors, but I am gonna swatch the final one, which is the green blue gold. And I think this last one might be the prettiest or the most interesting of the four. Well, alrighty then, that is the video. This is the look that I just put together using all of this new makeup that I just tested out. So let's go ahead and go over it. Kevin Aquan Sensual Base Primer was okay. I'm obviously gonna need to give it another try just to see if it works, if it helps with any of my favorite foundations, but the Maybelline Super Stay Active Wear Concealer, worn as a concealer or as an all over foundation, just did not work for me, sadly. This left me feeling very blotchy, very textured, and not 
textured in the way that I'm usually textured, textured in a different way. I feel like this emphasized some peeling skin, some dry patches, some healing acne scars, things that normally are taken care of, are hidden by a foundation. Definitely would not recommend to use this product as a foundation, but then again, I wasn't crazy about the way that it looked on my skin as a concealer. Under my eyes, I feel like it made them look a little bit more crinkly than they are. It emphasized the little fine lines that I didn't even know I had there. I think it made me look a little bit more tired, but Swatch Model said he liked my complexion. He said I look glowy, so I don't know. I'm confused. Perhaps this is something that looks better in person than what I'm seeing in the monitor on camera, but what I'm looking at right now, I don't like. I don't approve of this image. This is not an image that I would okay. Let's just put it that way. Moving on to some of these other products, like the One Size Made for Shade Bronze and Sculpt Trio. I guess what I can say so far about this product is that I do like the shades. I think they are flattering shades, but I'm just not so sure about the texture. I just couldn't tell if it was the bronzers or if it was something else. There was nothing good underneath this to be able to test this out. So I'm gonna have to give this another try. Brow products were pretty much all a fail for me today. None of it really worked for me, though I do see that some people could probably benefit from this Too Faced brow wig, especially if you're someone who has really fine hairs and needs a little bit more volume in your brow hairs. This could probably be a good bet. Everything else was just not great. Absolutely loved the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer Blushes. These were so dainty and so easy to use and just so fluffy and so airy. I love them. It's probably my favorite product from this trial today. Outside of these L'Oreal Glow Paradise lippies and also actually surprisingly the Diamond Plumper. I thought the color was pretty. I don't know if it actually plumped anything on my lips, but I like the way that it looks and I like the way that it feels. So those were all hits. Again, like I always say, drugstore lip products is where it's at. Like the liner, thank you liner for saving the day today. Not sure how I felt about the Born This Way Sunset Strip Palette. I didn't really get it. And I kind of felt similarly about the Dose of Colors Truffle Eyeshadow Palette as well. And I guess this is all due to the fact that I really did not know how to use this Milk Hydro Grip Eye Primer. This turned the eyeshadows into a different formula. It made them creamy. It made them almost mousse-like. Very difficult to work with, impossible to blend out. I couldn't get it. I guess maybe perhaps if I were expecting those to be the formulas, I'd know how to work with them. But since that's not what I had in mind, since those weren't the brushes that I had prepared for today, I just didn't know what to do. So I guess that is my experience in today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching me fail time and time again. Or maybe you didn't, maybe you actually like this look and maybe you actually like these types of videos where not everything goes my way, but somehow at the end, I come out all right. That is the moral of today's story. Let's be open to possibilities. Let's accept challenges. Let's take on these challenges and let's just roll with them. Let's just keep going. Let's explore and let's explore together. All right, you guys. With that said, I'm going to zoom on out. I'm gonna wrap up this video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing, for checking out more of my videos over here. Peace out, and I'm out.